In the extreme south and west of Norway stands Rogaland Radio. From this station, 130 persons maintain a constant link between people at home and the seamen serving in our merchant fleet on every sea. This is the main artery for communications to the tens of thousands of men on board ships of all sizes. Every year, more than half a million radio telegrams are dealt with and over a hundred thousand phone calls. To do this, a sound system is necessary. Every single ship has its own card, bearing the ship's special call sign. At specified times, during the 24-hour day, call signals for the ships to which the station will be sending messages are made up in a signals roaster and punched onto a tape. The roaster is then broadcast by the ship's transmitters, which are keyed by the perforated tape. It is also possible to use the entirely new and modern selective call system that Norway has introduced. Every ship that has installed this kind of equipment is allotted a special tuning signal for calling up. If Rogaland radio transmits a signal of this kind, the ship to which it has been allotted will be alerted by means of a signal automatically set off on board. The messages to be sent out to the various ships are distributed among the operators and when contact has been established with the ship, the communication is passed on. Messages of every possible kind are transmitted every minute of the day and night via Rogaland radio, from ship to shore and vice versa. The large volume of radio traffic also has to be passed on to and from the addressees on shore. This makes Rogaland radio one of Norway's largest telecommunication stations. The constant stream of messages is passed on or retransmitted in various ways. Here a message is being sent on a teleprinter to a ship with the necessary equipment. Any telex subscriber in Norway can likewise order and make use of teleprinter communications direct to any ship possessing the equipment necessary for this service. To prevent mistakes arising during transmission of telex signals, a correction device is used. On this tape, messages are temporarily stored until it is automatically established that the message has been transmitted correctly. The shipping companies that have installed radio teleprinters on board their ships use these via Rogaland radio to ensure rapid exchange of messages and written communications from ship to shore. Competition is keen and speed and efficiency are imperative. But the bulk of the traffic is still dealt with by radio telegraphy, simply because this is the most reliable and cheapest method, provided the volume of traffic to the individual ship is small. To make sure that the powerful transmitters do not disturb reception, the transmitting station is sighted 12 miles away from the receiving station. The entire station is highly automated and very little manual operation is necessary apart from periodic checking, servicing and maintenance work. Technicians are on duty round the clock, ready to intervene if any breakdown occurs. The station has about 40 transmitters in operation and has the use of some 70 transmitting aerials. A number of these aerials are condition-oriented or directive, which means that signals are transmitted in a particular direction. When a ship has notified its position, the aerial is selected that covers the zone in which the ship is located. Everything is now set for a conversation. Ja, alltså, det kan det 
Kommer hjem en tur. Hej Reinar. Eh, jeg ringte egentlig for at fortælle, at jeg kommer hjem på ferie i slutten av måneden. Så flott da du. Det skal bli kæmpe If a case of illness or an accident occurs while the ship is at sea, the medical service is a good standby, and it's free of charge. Stop. Temperatur klokke 08:00 GMT 39,8. Stop. Stark. Via Rogaland Radio, the symptoms are reported to a hospital on shore, and from the hospital, advice on treatment is sent back. There have even been cases of operations being carried out via Rogaland Radio. Not all messages are equally important, true enough, but it's good to know that the system is available and works when you need it. This is an emergency signal which will stop the normal traffic of other vessels and of coastal stations. The emergency signal will intensify the state of alert on ships in the vicinity of the vessel in distress by intensifying the listening watch on the emergency frequency. The signal will be repeated by the coastal station closest to the vessel in distress so that as many people as possible are notified of the situation and the position of the ship calling for aid. In order to check the position, a plot is taken on the emergency signal with the greatest possible degree of accuracy. In other words, using a direction-finding device, the bearing of the ship in distress from Rogalan radio is plotted. But to find the distance, and in this way the actual spot, a cross-bearing has to be made, and this is done with the cooperation of another coastal station equipped with a similar direction-finding device. Here, a similar direction-finding operation is being carried out, and the results are passed on to Rogaland Radio, where the ship's exact position is plotted in the intersection of the two bearing lines. The position having been checked and established, it can now be transmitted to all agencies taking part in the rescue operation. And in a short while, a search is mounted in the area. <laughs> Rogaland Radio has countless tasks to take care of, and its importance is growing with every passing year. Our merchant navy is expanding rapidly, and it is extremely important that the ships engaged should be able to transmit their messages as rapidly and reliably as possible. Messages must get through at every minute of the day and night. Messages about vital matters and trivial matters, some important, others not, but they must all reach their destination on every one of the seven seas. No ship is so far away that it cannot be contacted through Rogalan radio. Bangor, 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 Rogalan, du er før i nummer tre. Du blir nummer tre her, Bangor. 
Rogaland Radio is Norway's largest and one of the world's largest and most efficient coastal radio stations. It is a vital link in our line of communication with our seafaring folk on every ocean.